Hey guys, I made pot holders using a single crochet thermal stitch. I learned this stitch from a YouTube video, which is linked in the description. I read that cotton was best to use when making pot holders because synthetic fibers can melt. So I decided to use this macrame cord. It's thick and made of cotton. I also used a 9mm crochet hook. Weave extra cord at the end. Place the cord over the hook with the end facing forward. Bring the end of the cord to the back, wrapping around the longer end. Then bring the longer end over to the front of the hook and pull it through the loop created. This is a slip knot. Bring the longer end over to the front again and pull it through the loop created. This is the first chain stitch. I made 17 chain stitches. When you squeeze it, you'll see a braid. There's two loops that form a V in front, and one loop in the back. Make one chain stitch to start the row. Then turn it over to the back. Skip the chain that you just made. Go to the second back loop and make a single crochet stitch. To do this, go through the stitch, yarn over, and pull it through the loop. Yarn over again and pull it through both loops. Repeat this with each stitch. You should have 17 single crochets. When you reach the end, make one chain stitch to start the next row. Then make a single crochet. Go through these two loops, yarn over and pull it through both loops. Yarn over again and pull it through two loops. Do this for the rest of the row. Go through two loops, yarn over, pull it through both loops, yarn over again, and pull it through two loops. Make a chain stitch to start the next row and repeat the steps.
I called this a row. With the start of the chord on the left side, I ended up with 14 rows. With the start of the chord on the right side, I ended up with 15 rows. Next, make a chain stitch. Then make a single crochet. Go through three loops, yarn over, and pull it through the three loops. Yarn over again and pull it through two loops. Do this for the rest of the row. To form a loop, I made 8 chain stitches. Then brought the hook through this corner. Yarn over and pull it through both loops. Then I made a chain stitch. I left extra cord at the end. With a tapestry needle, I weave the cord through the 8 back loops to make it stronger. I weave the end a few times and cut the extra cord. I did the same to the other end. I was able to make two pot holders with this roll and had this much cord left. I washed it. Here's how it turned out. 